Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode. Today I want to take a little look back, not that far back in the past, five years. In crypto years, that's like a million, but I wanna take a look at the year 2014, what was happening, what sort of battles Bitcoin and this cryptocurrency space is going through, because I think it's healthy to always have a little bit of perspective. So let's take a look, let's set the stage, see what was happening in 2014. Five years ago in crypto history, the year is 2014, and the website coinmarketcap.com was reporting the top five, I'm going to say top six cryptocurrencies as Bitcoin ranked first, its price is at $631, Litecoin ranked second, its price is at $17.35, XRP is in ranked third, always a bridesmaid never the bride. Its price is at one cent. Aurora coin is in fourth with its price at $9.79. Spain coin, which is actually currently inactive, was at $3.02. And I wanted to include pure coin on here because it is one of the first implementations of modified proof of stake consensus as a security model. So there is that innovation happening already back in 2014. So the top coins, according to market cap five years ago, consisted mostly of decentralized networks that were aiming to disrupt how money can work. Looking back at the year of 2014, we see that it began with one Bitcoin exchange called Mt. Gox, may have heard of it, come to a fiery end after having lost something like 850,000 Bitcoins. At that time, that amount of Bitcoin was 7% of the total Bitcoin in circulation. Talk about centralization. Now, what have we learned from this one? It seems not much, but at least new solutions are being built and tested. I'm looking at you, decentralized exchanges and atomic swaps. It's also worth it to note that in October of 2013, only five months, uh, you know, prior to five years ago today, the Silk Road was shut down with Ross Albright, aka Dread Pirate Roberts, and Bitcoin being at the center of that mess. 2014 was a year of Bitcoin fighting bad press, trying to recover from one of its most popular exchanges from going under, and just an overall uncertainty of its future. At least that was a story from mainstream media. Oh, but don't worry, 2014 was also the year when venture capitalists began taking note and investing in Bitcoin-related companies and services, with VC investments totaling $98 million that year. Now, as of 2018, that number has now reached over $3.9 billion. It was also the year where a shift began to change from pure investment speculation to merchant adoption and acceptance as a form of payment. In 2014, that number was around 3,000 merchants. Only two years later, that number would grow to over 100,000 merchants accepting Bitcoin. Now, as for that number today, I couldn't find an official count. So if anyone here knows this number in regards to the year of 2018 or 2019, Please share it in the comments down below. I'd appreciate it. Also, Bitcoin ATMs began sprouting up as well as meetups and conferences. As we all know, conferences are everywhere, as are meetups, which is really great. But back in 2014, Bitcoin was just beginning to take root in the physical world. Okay, so how has this space changed in the past five years? There has been an explosion of independent news sources thanks to things like YouTube, Twitter, Steemit, BitTube, and other decentralized social media platforms. There has been an onslaught of additional applications of blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies that are flipping the script for a number of different industries, everything from social media to farming to shipping, just to name a few. Don't worry, we are still disrupting the banks and learning how to maintain privacy and security at scale. We have second and third generation blockchains being built on the ideas put forth by Satoshi Nakamoto. These dev teams are taking these ideas, they're experimenting with them, pushing the limits, and of course, as always, they are learning from the mistakes being made. Still think that Bitcoin and this world of cryptocurrencies is dead? 
Well, with all due respect, I think that you should try to break free from that cyclical mindset. We are still here. Now, granted, there is still a long way to go, but time has done nothing but prove that decentralized networks, immutable ledgers, peer-to-peer -peer transactions are a thing of beauty and something that every single person can benefit from. Now, I'm curious, what do you think is in store for us in the next five years? What is being built? What kind of innovations are being discovered that have you inspired? Please leave them in the comments down below. I really appreciate you guys sharing. Leave a like. Sharing is caring. Share this video out to others so that they can learn to see the bigger picture of cryptocurrencies, how far we've come, and the limitless potential that blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies have on this world. It's pretty exciting. So that's all I have for you today. Have a good one. There's a fire.